You're watching Tag TV. Hello viewers, I'm your host Shreya Savijay with another episode of South Asia Focus. Let's begin the show with the news of pandemic COVID-19 that has sent fear waves around the world. While the deadly virus has claimed over 9,000 lives, tens of thousands others are being treated for its contraction. The governments are working on war footing to contain its spread. Today, we'll individually focus on South Asian countries that have borne a relatively less severe impact of the deadly virus thus far. Have a look. Hundreds of trains in island nation Sri Lanka are being disinfected in the line of the country's fight against COVID-19, the deadly disease that has crippled the life and economy of almost every state under the sun. Countries' authorities and people in charge of individual departments are taking extra caution to prevent the spread. Transit facilities across the country are being taken care of with regular and repeated sanitization. The government also declared a dedicated holiday to carry out such operation at large scale. Using uh, sanitized liquid, we clean all the buses operating from this place throughout the day. Uh, it will be last. Uh, we plan to do this for next uh, two weeks' time. The country has imposed a blanket ban on travels from countries including Italy, Iraq, South Korea and Iran. The natives coming from these countries are required to be quarantined for two weeks. Second largest South Asian country in terms of population, Pakistan, which has a weak health system, has reached out to its permanent ally and its originator of the outbreak, China, for assistance. While speaking to a Chinese TV network, the Foreign Minister of Pakistan, Shah Mahmood Qureshi, applauded the measures taken by Beijing and said his country too would follow it. Well, we are facing the pressure now. Uh, we have about 184 reported cases. Uh, we have learned from your experience and we are trying to emulate that. We have put in place the protocols that are required, uh, for example, quarantine procedures, the screening that was required at entry points, large public gatherings have been now curtailed, uh, educational institutions uh, have been closed down. So we are taking measures, but, but the challenge is there. Officials have imposed travel restrictions to block the spread of the disease amid fears that inadequate health facilities could be overwhelmed by densely populated country. The peace process in Afghanistan has taken a back seat as the fear of coronavirus has compelled Afghan citizens working in the other countries to return despite the future fraught with political uncertainty. A number of refugees have returned from neighboring Iran to find a ironically peaceful and isolated place. آمار بازگشت با توجه به اینکه چند برابر شده عمده ترین دلیلش بحث حراس از ابتلا به کرونا هست و عمده ترین دلیل دیگرش اینه که این افغان هایی که مشغول به کار بودن با توجه به کسادی کار و بازار اینا به خاطر عدم اشتغال یا بیکاری برگشتن و با توجه به چند برابر شدن عودت دولت جمهوری اسلامی افغانستان از این موضوع نگران هست. The virus has pushed a wave of panic in one of the most densely populated capitals Dhaka. 
People have been thronging pharmacies to purchase themselves masks and sanitizers. The government has banned the entry of foreign nationals, but enough cases have been detected in the country to make people go nervous. Bishwapi, a corona virus, actante manusha kon bhito santrusto. Jar pori pikhite gatokal ke Bangladeshyo tin jon corona virus se rugi dhara pore. Evang shei chhator kota mulok avosthane jonne askira amra shavai. The small South Asian nations of Bhutan and Maldives too have documented the cases of coronavirus. Although the spread is still at its infancy stage in both the countries, any complacency can make the issues worse. The governments, however, are confident that they will be able to contain the virus. These two countries have also banned the entry of foreign nationals into their territory. The Maldives have even suspended flights to China, Italy and South Korea. People of Nepal are rushing to fuel stations and cooking gas depot to stock on enough fearing shortage in case of a coronavirus lockdown. The people fear that the government might halt imports from India and other countries if there is a rise in positive COVID-19 cases. Ali the pay rachu, ali ardhas din agadi chya ali kati chapa chap thiyo. Taro yu Nepal gas ko tarf bada ta ho jastu mala lag day na manchi ali aun yehi ali corona ko karan bade hola. Asi ali kati asurakshit feel feel kare ra. स्टोर कर रखो बने रहती हो लेकिन तीन चापा चाप थी हो तो रॉयल तो सजीले माँ आए मलिस सजीले पाएं। The country has closed Mount Everest among the host of measures taken to stem the growth of virus in the country. Kathmandu has also restricted the travel bans and has closed all its borders. It has also asked the citizens to take measures against the rise of the virus. Moving on, India, the second most populated country in the world, is now witnessing a surge in the number of coronavirus cases. While it has received WHO praise for handling the initial phase, a colossal challenge still lies ahead. The government has taken a list of measures to stem the growing pandemic. People have been advised to stay at home and not stock on to daily essentials. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has asked people to exercise caution and restraint. In the list of larger decisions, it has suspended visas of almost all the countries and has asked its own people travelling from outside to quarantine for two weeks. The visitors are also being asked to go through a screening process at the airports. In an attempt to boost the morale of fellow Indians, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed the entire country of 1.3 billion people on 19th March. In his address, Modi said the growing challenge posed by the coronavirus was not normal and urged everyone to practice social distancing. 130 जो विकास के लिए प्रयत्नशील देश है और हम जैसे देश पर कोरोना का ये संकट सामान्य बात नहीं है आज जब बड़े-बड़े और विकसित देशों में हम इस वैश्विक महामारी का व्यापक प्रभाव देख रहे हैं तो भारत पर इसका कोई प्रभाव नहीं पड़ेगा ये मानना गलत है इंडियन एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन हैज बीन प्रोएक्टिवली बैटलिंग द डेडली वायरस एंड हैज सो फार बीन एबल टू रिड्यूस द स्पीड ऑफ इट्स स्प्रेड 
In a step ahead, Prime Minister has appealed citizens to observe a self-curfew on March 22nd as part of a trial run to test social isolation to curb the spread of the coronavirus. इस रविवार यानी दो दिन के बाद 22 मार्च को 22 मार्च रविवार को सुबह सात बजे से रात नौ बजे तक सभी देशवासियों को जनता कर्फ्यू का पालन करना है इस जनता कर्फ्यू के दरमियान कोई भी नागरिक घरों से बाहर न निकले न सड़क पे जाए न मोहल्ले में या सोसाइटी में इकट्ठे हो अपने घरों में ही रहे मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस दैट हैव बीन डिटेक्टेड ईदर हैव एन इंटरनेशनल ट्रैवल हिस्ट्री और दे केम इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद वन विद द सेम In order to avoid this, India has suspended entry of all except Indians. No non-Indian are allowed to board flights bound for India. Arrivals from China, Italy, Iran, South Korea, France, Spain and Germany as well as those transiting through the Gulf states will be subject to a 14-day quarantine while they arrive in India. and he has even acted proactive at the regional level in south asia pm modi held a video conferencing with all sark nations to chalk out a regional plan and even announced an emergency fund for the member states i propose we create a covid 19 emergency fund this could be based on voluntary contributions from all of us india can start with an initial offer of 10 million us dollars for this fund any of us can use the fund to meet the cost of immediate actions New Delhi has also implemented the epidemic law under which the officials will be allowed to take stern measures to contain the situation and impose penalties on those who are trying to flout them. Most educational institutions, gyms, museums and the entertainment facilities have been closed across the country. The government has also issued advisory asking businesses to allow employees to work from home. Pakistan has for several decades ruled the region of illegally occupied Kashmir with an iron fist. It has consistently used the police and policies to keep the residents of the region under its tight grip and they have been subjected to brutality and bloodshed if they have tried to resist the misrule. But even after this they have kept protesting against the wrong committed to them one such incident was recently reported in the muzaffarabad city of pakistan occupied kashmir where lawyers took to streets to protest against the brutal treatment by police a report a large number of advocates took to streets of muzaffarabad in pakistan occupied kashmir to protest police brutality against them The protest erupted after the police baton charged a group of advocates including women and used poisonous gas to disperse them when they gathered outside a police station to peacefully lodge a complaint. During the protest the advocates chanted slogans against the police and the establishment which has given them a free hand. आज जो पुलिस वालों ने दहशत गर्दी की है हमारे ऊपर और आके हमला आवर हुए हैं खातन वकला के ऊपर उन्होंने तशद किया और खातन वकला की जो है वो इज्जत को पामाल करते हुए उनके दुपट्टे खींचे गए उनको उनके ऊपर तशद किया गया और आंसू गैस फेंकी गई ये जो पुलिस वालों की दहशत गर्दी है 
ये एक अगर काले कोर्ट के ऊपर इस तरह है तो आम बंदा जो हमारे से इंसाफ लेने के लिए आता है कोर्ट्स के अंदर हम इंसाफ लोगों को दिलाते हैं और आज अगर ये ये चीज़ जो है वो सामने आई है कि वकील जो है वो खुद महफूज नहीं है वो खुद किसी का अपना तहफ़ नहीं कर सकते तो वो आम आवाम का जो पिसे हुए तबकत हैं जो औरतें हैं जो हमारे पास इंसाफ लेने के लिए आती हैं तो क्या वो महफूज है वो किस तरह हम जो दूसरों को इंसाफ दिलाएंगे Attack on advocates is not an exclusive case of police high-handedness, but it has been normalized in the region as primary exercise used by the authorities against any protest. Almost all protests in the past few years have met with a similar fate, with participants being thrashed brutally and their leaders being thrown behind bars. organizations that the establishment finds potentially threatening against its oppressive agenda have been targeted preemptively main samajhta hu ki police ka jo raviya hai ye sidh sabit karta hai ki jo log jo hain jo pishe hue tabqat hain jo mutawas tabqat hain jo gareeb log hain unki jo awaaz hai sarkar press club pe hamla karna national system pe hamla karna siyasi karkano pe aur aaj bar pe जो मुकदस अदारे हैं रियासत के इन पर हमला करना पुलिस ये साबित कर रही है कि जो भी बोलेगा इन पैसे हुए लोगों के हक में जो भी बोलेगा इन गरीब लोगों के हक में जो इंसाफ दिलाने की कोशिश करेगा जो उनकी बात आगे पहुंचाएगा, उनको वो नहीं छोड़ेंगे इंटिमिडेशन एंड डिसरिगार्ड टू दिमांड्स ऑफ द प्रोटेस्टर्स है की कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ पाकिस्तान स्टैक्टिक द अथॉरिटीज एम टू सप्रेस द वॉइस ऑफ द पीपल who utter anything rational or dare to demand the fundamental right the establishment has been doing this for the past 7 decades and any change in the future seems impossible as it has been periodically coming up with new laws that are not only draconian but inhuman moving on Government of India has been taking several measures to restore the normalcy in the union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. While it has been lifting the restrictions in a phased manner, a host of activities aimed at encouraging the people of the region are also being organized. The government has laid special stress at promoting the games and sports in the territory. Recently, the first ever Khelo India Winter Games were organized in Gulmarg. people from across the country participated in these games have a look around 900 athletes and sports officials from over 20 states of india gathered at the hilly town of gulmarg to take part in the first ever winter games that were organized in jammu and kashmir The 5-day event was organized under the Khelo India initiative of the central government which aims to inculcate sporting practices in the youth of the country. Union Minister Kiran Rijiju was also present to preside over the event and mark its inauguration. First ever Khelo India Winter Game has begun now at Gulmarg and we are very excited. The Jammu Kashmir administration has done a commendable job in terms of arranging the entire necessary thing to have a successful Khelo India Winter Games. Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports Government of India and Jammu and Kashmir administration we are working very closely to make this game very successful it is a historic event a number of games activities and interactive sessions were organized under the event to motivate and guide the youth for active participation in outdoor games and activities A number of cultural activities like dance and music performances were also organized to promote the culture of the territory. हमारा कश्मीर है ये तो जाना जाता है मेहमान नवाजी के लिए और कल्चर के लिए 
क्योंकि बाहर से जो लोग आ रहे हैं उनके लिए ये कल्चर जो हमारा कल्चर है ये दिखाना है उनको बड़ी खुशी है हमें आज हम गुलमर्ग में हैं आज इतनी बर्फ़ है यहाँ तो खेल कूद के साथ ये कल्चर भी है तो ये बहुत खुशी है हमें Gulmarg is a hilly town that has abundance of snow-clad hills and grounds which makes it a suitable spot for skiing and other winter sports. As a part of the event, a night skiing session was organized to promote the undervalued sport among citizens. दिस इज ब्रिलियंट बहुत बहुत ही सुंदर है मैं 11 साल से गुलमर्ग आ रही हूँ और इससे ब्यूटीफुल जगह मैंने नहीं देखी स्किन की जब बात की जाती है सो आई थिंक गुलमर्ग से बेहतर जगह कोई बनी ही नहीं है uh, मैं ऐसा नहीं बोलना चाहती कि और भी बहुत सुंदर जगह हैं बट क्योंकि मैं यहाँ से इतने साल से आ रही हूँ और स्किन जहाँ जिस तरह सिखाई जाती है जो स्लोप्स हैं और जो ब्यूटीफुल स्नो है चाहे वो पाउडर स्नो है या हमारी जो बनी स्लोप जो डिफरेंट डिफरेंट लेवल्स के हैं वो बहुत ही अमेजिंग है और जैसे डे स्की में भी बहुत ही मज़ा आता है उसी तरह आज हम पहली बार यहाँ आए हैं इतने सालों में कि नाइट स्कीइंग इन्जॉय करने और इससे बेहतरीन जगह और इस 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 सुंदरता को हमने कभी नहीं देखा द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इज लेइंग इमेंस स्ट्रेस ऑन डेवलपिंग स्पोर्ट्स इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर्स एंड ऑर्गेनाइजिंग मोर सच इवेंट्स इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एंड ऑल अक्रॉस द कंट्री मूविंग ऑन इंडिया सेलिब्रेट्स अ नंबर ऑफ फेयर्स एंड फेस्टिवल्स थ्रू आउट द ईयर व्हाइल समर ऑब्जर्वड विद ग्रेट पॉम्प एंड शो अक्रॉस द कंट्री others are limited to a particular region only recently shig motsav a festival that marks the farewell of winter and arrival of spring was celebrated with zeal and enthusiasm in goan capital panji let's have a look at this colorful extravaganza streets in panji town of india's western beach resort state goa flooded with colorful processions as people gathered to celebrate shigmo festival The festival is celebrated to bid goodbye to winters and to embrace the season of spring. Artists dressed in vibrant costumes danced to the beats of drum and sang folk songs as part of the celebrations. The 15-day long Hindu festival Shikmotsav, which is celebrated in the month of Fagun or March, is a quintessential element of the state's culture. It begins on the ninth moon and concludes on the full moon day. Among the festivities, the Hindu Lord of Love Kamadeva is commemorated and honored during this festival. Oh, it's very nice. It's the first time, so we never saw this kind of parade. So it's it's fun, a lot of dance, color. It's perfect. It's very cool. Hundreds of performers clad in traditional outfits and colorful turbans were seen chanting the names of various Hindu deities and performing Goa's folk dances. The streets were also abuzz with live performances and traditional dances like Telgari and Gauf. The float parade is the highlight of the festival. The parade also included martial art dances like Ghore Morni or the horse dance. which is popular in the region there is a festive energy surrounding the konkani diaspora during this festival as it envelops the whole place with its celebration of colors bahut hi acche experience ho raha hai mujhe jaa ke yahan ka culture janne ki koshish karna cha rahe hain yahan bahut hi acha banaya ja raha hai aise hame lag raha hai yahan ek ek group aa raha hai aur perform kar raha hai और सभी ग्रुप अपने तरफ से बहुत बढ़िया परफॉर्मेंस दे रहे हैं हमें बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है द फेस्टिवल आल्सो कमेमोरेट्स द होम कमिंग ऑफ द वॉरियर्स हु हैड लेफ्ट देयर होम्स एंड फैमिलीज एट द एंड ऑफ द शेरा फेस्टिवल टू फाइट द इनवेडर्स मीनवाइल द विजिटर्स वर ऑन थ्रोल्ड एट द ग्रैंड सेलिब्रेशन द मूड स्टक बाय गुड कंपनी एंड फोकलोर इल्यूमिनेट्स द रीजन ड्यूरिंग दिस फेस्टिवल It is quite unlikely that one would not be mesmerized at the sight of this festival. So, it is recommended that one should visit Goa during the festivities of the Shikmo festival to get a real and raw perspective of the folklore and people of the state. The elaborately built floats in the Shikmo parade depict scenes from regional mythology and religious scenes. 
With that, we come to the end of this week's episode. See you next week. Goodbye and take care.